In the previous videos, I showed you how to set up a G-code print file and how to prepare a dual print. In this video, I'll show you the display controller and the options to tweak your printer on the fly. First of all, printing can always be done by using Repetier Host from your computer through the USB cable. However, printing from SD card is much better, because any task that your computer is performing will not affect your print. For preparing your print, it's best to do a homing sequence first to level the bed. This is best done with a preheated printer. A preheated printer also saves you time when you start printing. In the same manner, you can turn all heaters off. You can load and unload the material from the utilities menu. Remember that the extruder will cool down after you do this. After you insert the SD card, you can print. You can organize your G-code files in folders. However, if you put a lot of files on the SD card, the menu tends to get slow. From the display, you have many options available for tweaking your printer. The first is the feed rate. You can change this just by turning the knob while printing. Changing the feed rate will make your print faster or slower. It will take a few seconds before the changes are noticeable. If you push the button once while printing, you'll see the Tune menu. Here you can control the temperatures while printing. You can also set the flow rate if you see that the printer adds too much material or not enough. More advanced settings you can find in the Control Motion menu. Here you can change the acceleration and jerk settings of the printer. This will make faster or slower movements at corners, which affects the print result. If you find that a different value gives you better results, you can store them into the Romba's memory. When you're scrolling through the menus, it's good to know that the menu will jump back to the info screen after 10 seconds, so you can never get lost. You can pause and resume the print if you like. If something goes wrong, you should stop the print. By default, the printer says printing, but you can change it to whatever you want in the start G-code and slicer. Have fun! Now you have a fully working printer. Time for a lot of printing fun. In the next section, I will show you some alternatives that you can experiment with. 